Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I like to call this morning's message, Trust on Demand. That is when trust is demanded. Trust on demand. You know, many times I've, I've had people saying, you, you need to trust me, you need to trust me. And especially when something has gone wrong between two people, and then, or maybe something happened, a misunderstanding or something. Somebody did something wrong, somebody offended somebody, or somebody did something that really shattered the trust of people. And then, you know, I've had people marrying these two words together. Well, if, if you're forgiving me, you, you, need to for, you need to trust me. And I hear it constantly that men are forgiven uh, and you have to trust me, you have to trust me. And sometimes people demand trust from, uh, from people. But you know, I read something in the scriptures, especially in Genesis chapter 42, from verse 5 to 8. Now, the Bible, the, it talks about Joseph and his brothers. You remember when, when Joseph's brothers um, came to e Egypt and then Joseph recognized who they were and all those other things. Uh, and, and the Bible said uh, something that is very, very interesting. Even though Joseph recognized them. Now, these were people who had offended Joseph. And Joseph recognized them. And the Bible said when Joseph recognized them, he did not reveal himself to them. Now, it is Joseph's choice to walk in forgiveness. But it is also Joseph's choice to trust. Now, the Bible said Joseph did not reveal himself to them. You know, you know the reason why? Because he didn't trust them. You have no right to demand trust from me when you've betrayed my trust. You don't have any right to say to me that if I've forgiven you, then I must of a necessity trust you. No. Forgiveness is a decision you make, but trust is earned by a series of actions that you do. So when trust is betrayed, you need to go back to the, uh, to the basics and do a series of things to earn my trust. You need to do a series of things to earn my trust. And that's one of the cardinal things that I've found. That people say, well, I, I, uh, if you've forgiven me, I, I should, uh, you should trust me. Trust must be earned. So, Joseph did not reveal himself to his brothers because he didn't trust them. So, I've forgiven you, but I don't have to come and eat in your home. I've forgiven you, but I don't have to be uh, running around with you. No, no, no. You have to now do a series of things for me to trust, for me to be able to build trust in you. And it is a series of actions. Trust is earned and not exacted. So you can't exact trust from me and ask me to trust you by all means. No and no and no. Especially when trust was betrayed. You have to now earn it. And you earn it by a series of actions that you take. So forgiveness is a decision, but trust must be earned. So do not expose yourself and say because the past is past, so you, you just expose yourself and you do all that, uh, you might get hurt again. And it is always very important. Let the people or let that person earn your trust. Then you open all the chapters. But if you don't and you just go, you might get hurt again. So trust must be earned, but forgiveness is a decision, instantaneous decision that you make. See you later.